Alright hey everybody, it's Modern Native. Super excited about this. We got a wood stove. just like that. <laughs> oh, shiny. <laughs> Nuts and fittings. The glass door? Yes. <laughs> At least they racked it a few times. <laughs> yes. Because it rattled a lot. This is the. Nice. Burner tray. I really do like this. It's a nice weight. Straight up sheet of glass. <laughs> yep. And that's the other thing, it came with no instructions. I probably don't need the package. Nope. 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 Well, shit. No. Nah. That's always nice, I guess. So it's definitely made for a dude, I guess. You know, guys never use instructions. Yeah, you got a good point. <laughs> uh, okay, so we have our... Over here. I know, I see that. <laughs> that slides in. Locks into place. Cool. And... Two legs. Two legs. Top of the flue. I guess the order doesn't. One review I saw said that he had to file these down to get them the extra fit. It's supposed to automatically fit like the other one. You don't need to file them down. You just need to push the fucking things in. One goes on top. There you go. Mm -mm. Watch your fingers, because it will pinch. Okay, so Leave there it to the is, woman to figure it out. There is a flared edge here, <laughs> and there's a tapered edge. The flared edge goes up. Damn. Leave it to me to figure it out. Right. <sighs> Take the pipe off for a minute. Lay that there. 
while I figure out the door. Hold on a second. You could do the legs while I'm doing the door. I was gonna say, it seems super simple. The bolts are right there. And the washer. Right here. I got them all laid out so you can see. Little guy. He's little, little nuts. <laughs> um. What pocket is the toolkit in? What pocket? Um, the lower one? Yeah. But we don't need the tool cut. The screwdriver part. I was gonna say, I need you to give me like a better pocket. But that's not it. This is my new pocket. Oh. I haven't even been using my old phone. I just keep the sound on in case someone calls me. I wanted the nuts on the inside just because I felt like that was better. And it is better. It's smarter too. That's why when you were putting the screws in the other way at first, I was like, yeah, don't do that. <laughs> Ones? No, no, there's a short one and then the long one. I might have to swap these out. Yeah, those are supposed to be, be the short ones. And I'm gonna make some more things. Yeah, these only have one bolt, so these are the flat tops, huh? How did the headlights burn so quick though? Because I didn't charge it last night. Uh oh. I was supposed to plug it in last night and charge it. Wait, are these shredded? Oh, sweet. They're shredded. So I didn't even need to take that off. my mini tool. Can I get like inside? The little wrench is right there.
Best part about it is that we can put everything back in it to carry it. Yep. That's actually it all fits in it. It's actually one of the things I love most about it. I'd say that is one one of the things I love most about it. This gloomy little guy I actually think holds this blue disc on or can. I think they're made to, yeah. It would make sense for those, well you'd have to fix the screws, but on the door because you have two long ones on the door. Or the glass, it is. Can you hold the back of this? The back of this thing. The back. I was trying to just hold both. Well, this is the bottom. This is the back. Oh, I. You had me confused as shit. <laughs> I don't know what back you meant, so that's why I was a little bit still confused. Because. Where your hand is right now is the bottom. Back. I was thinking right here, or this bag, or the actual back of it right here. Because <laughs> this is the, you know, the feeder spot, so that'd be the opening. long one take it out. I don't think I need those little screws. Those are for two, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, but honey, you have mismatched screws over here. Okay, but the it's... smaller ones are in there. You have two long ones. If you let me finish, end. I do not need those screws for anything, so it doesn't matter about the size of these ones. That's a nice snug fit. Like mm -hmm. there's no ring around the uh, ring around it at all, but I don't mind it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they just go right on. But there's no spot for them to actually be drilled into. So really...
Yeah, that actually doesn't make a difference either. These short guys are long enough. And it's just enough to make sure it's not going to rattle off. Yeah. Which I really only need the one or not at all. You only need the one. It's not rattling. I figured it was more of a, a leaking kind of air hole type spot. It's kind of more what I was thinking it was going to do. Or be like. I mean. So let's just wait for it on. I probably won't be taking the flu off much anyway. I mean, for transport, I never want to do that. But for any other purpose, it would be. But I meant this. This will obviously come off. Oh, but yeah. this piece, probably not. No. It's not a piece of it is kind of when it pulls this up. How am I even supposed to do that? The back one? <laughs> yeah, good enough. Good enough. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's remove your scoop there. Oh, shit. Just a little bit so I can put it in a more level spot. I'm just currently on a log, sitting on a log. Oh. That's what I said. Oh, shit. Helping me keep my ass afloat. <laughs> Keeping them being able to turn just a little bit yeah, actually makes angle. it more stable. Angle just there's my better dish. stability. Huh? I said, there's my dish. Well, it's the cover. That's all it is. I'm supposed to be able to adjust this to allow heat to come up through it, but... You just gotta unscrew it, that's all. No, there's no screw. It's welded into place. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's tack welded. Okay, so... <laughs> that's not... Alright. So now we're gonna go for a test fire. It's a good spot. I gotta grab my jacket. Hold on. Get a lot of stuff back in the box. What's that thing for? That thing. Um, I believe it's to be able to. Oh. Be able to pull that out. Or if you I'm absolutely. Pretty sure it's just about everything. I was gonna say if you pull absolutely out, can't touch it. Pull it by the ring. Pull it up. Yeah. Ah. And it's also for this. Yep, to be able to hook it up. Put your can on there. Super perfect, actually. And put it back. Wish there was. I'm gonna lay a few of these bigger guys in here. Start my box. right now we're going to keep the door open so it starts going yep and then we'll close it and see how it goes yep i don't want to make sure i can close it yeah right so i've got a little bundle there got my sticks ready to go in actually i'm probably going to Mm -hmm. Stuff in here like this. Give myself my little pocket. Put a couple crossways. Right to the hole. Hey, if it's not on, go ahead and use the top hole. Right? Well, pretty much it's supposed it's made for. Whether it's on or not. Yeah. 
Put that guy back there. So that's birch bark. And then I needed a new wick anyway, and I wanted to get a pack of wicks for a giveaway I'm going to be doing. Stay tuned for that. Make sure you pay attention. Got my notifications on so you can be a part of the giveaway when I do my live stream. Dude, stay off my face. These things are awesome. And then to snuff these out. Oh yeah. Look at yeah. that shit. Why is it clipping? Hmm? It's clipping. Yeah, the whole thing is. Because the thing is clipping. So that's our first fire in the wood stove. And you can see the smoke coming out. Good wood. I love the smell of the wood, but you can smell that it's a new stove. Oh yeah, the, the metal chemical is burning off. The chemical burn that's coming out of the pipe right now is just... <coughs> but it looks super cool coming out of the top. Always test fire your stoves outside of a confined area, out in the yard, ready to douse it if you need to. Yeah. That's because you don't know what's going to happen. You don't know if someone put an actual chemical in there. It's going to make it go boom. Or you don't know if you've got a shoddy stove like some of the ones I've seen where the, the paint releases these bad fumes. Never get a black painted one because it's just going to burn off. Most of them don't actually use the heat resistant um, paint. So it just burns off and ends up going silver or rust color anyway. So don't get a black coated one. Get a naked silver. Ooh, that's already pushing off heat. Oh yeah. Nice. No, I, I'm feeling warmth. Yes. And it's got the food warming trays but on the side. Not... We can literally get a metal water tank and put it on these sides mm -hmm. and warm up water. Yeah. They make them to go right into this um, side attachment where the racks are. Yeah, they have it right here. The bottom spot right back here too. And I can feel all the way up. Like, I barely feel any heat in this back. Right here is the most. Yeah. And the bottom has no heat. No, because it's just the ash pan. This side is just up at the top ah, is where, there it's, it is. where it's mostly hot. There's our flue control right there. Oh, yeah. Yep. Or damper. Damper control. Yep. That's the word so, for it. Do it again. Oh, there you go. There's the smoke we needed. No, no, that's the heavy smoke that it's not getting enough air. That's the open airflow. I don't like how bright it's sensing. <laughs> but it's, it's okay it's because normal. it's fine. Once we actually start using it more and have it set up and then we camp and everything else. It'll do better. It'll set better. It'll be more even. But we are going to cook on this tonight as well. Yes, yes we are. I almost snuffed it out. That was my problem. And with these stoves and most campsites, literally, all you got to do is just keep feeding little twigs. I tried. I cracked my butt. Ow. Oh, 
Maui. Oh, my toy. People talk about how it's so much harder to break down your stuff into this size, and I'm like, it's, it's really not. Just work with smaller stuff. Don't work with logs when you got this. I was gonna say, when you have logs, do a fire. When you have a stove, do twigs, sticks, tiny little, little all the little way logs. up to branches. Mm -hmm. Once you get to a branch, it's like two inches around, about the size of this pipe. That's about as big as you can go. You put a giant chunk in here, it's just gonna smolder. Oh yeah, it does get toasty. Yep. I'm glad it had the built-in spark arrestor on top. This is cool. Uh huh. <laughs> I like bringing smoke down. She's such a goof. Let's show them how much smoke is coming up. No, point, point your way at the tip from behind. There you go. See, look at that. Ton of smoke coming out. It's a great fire right there. Actually, it was real easy to get it going, too. That's why I love stoves. <laughs> Come this winter, this thing might not go cold. <laughs> that's so weird. I don't care. But the heat that's coming out of it, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah, watch yourself. No, that's the inside because it was cold. Yeah. Oh. That's what you needed to do anyway. Yeah. We needed. <laughs> this actually. is actually pretty fucking cool. I'm not even gonna lie. Take a light off of it. Look how cool that is. That's the fire coming all the way up because it's burning off the smoke. It's what we needed. It needs to burn off the chemical that it's in the pipe so that we can cook on it and we're not going to get that chemical metal taste. And you can see... <laughs> you can see the heat ring around the flue. Around the cap. The screw. Told you. And that. It's cool. But that's not even where the, the heat is coming out at. The the red. Take no. the light up. The no. red is coming out of the the rim in between the collar and the pipe. Yeah. That's super cool. So what, you want to cook on a live stream? Yeah, we can do that. New stove live.
So I'm super excited that we got this. Super happy with it. It looks like it's holding up pretty well. It's not warping. It's not distorting. After it did its flex from the heat, it stopped making all that tinging sound. <clears throat> Which that'll do it every time it expands. And, you know, every time it heats up and cools down, it's going to expand and contract. So it's going to do that. But... I do enjoy it. I do like it. It's going to be really nice to cook on, which I'm about to do on a live stream probably. Or I might make another video. Depends. But until next time, get out there, be a native, and go beast.